Tim Manda is the referee. He blows time on here, and the raw signals will start at Shark Park. The Rams in their red and blue running to the right-hand side of your screen. Wallers, the captain and hooker, the dummy half. This is Tamani to the edge of the red zone for the Rams. Blair in the yellow headband, stepping back inside. As we approach the five-minute mark, gone in this first half at Shark Park. Walters. Mark Corvo, big hit from Lee, but good work from Corvo to unload to Topper. Right foot, right foot, right foot, right here. Inside the Sharks 20. Walters cut out ball. Through Wrigley to Pierce standing wide. Bumps away from a couple. Comes to Long. He wraps him up with the help of Danny Lee. Strong run from the second rower. Here's Topper now. Face ball. The champion stepping inside the cow. He'll get there. And the Rams have scored. much to it but Campion stepped off the right foot beaten a cow easy as you like and the Rams open up a 4-0 lead here with just over five minutes gone in the first half. Well two nice quick wide passes with a thing that put the uh, the Sharks defence under pressure slipping out to around about the outside the 5-8 mark or inside centre. Nick Al being put on the slide a little bit. Greenhill being forced to slide across. So they're, they're probably attacking quite a sensible position just on the edge of the ruck. But these are the two passes that got them to where they are. Two nice wide passes, probably 20 to 25 metres wider of the ruck. A sidestep from Campion, a fairly neat one. 10 metres to the right-hand side of the upright. Strikes it nicely. And the Rams, just like that, lead the Sharks 6-0. Treaster now away to Danny Lee. 32 out from the Rams line. They go to the blind side. Treester trying to pick up a runner. Nobody was there, but gets a good ball back. Through lead out of green. Off the ground to Peachy. Turns it back inside to Barnett. He's tackled by this youngster, Luke Williamson. Green now. Away to Mitch Healy. Back inside to Bell on the right side of the field. Right in front of the post, 20 out. Green. Flat ball for Eddinghausen. Hit the gap, got it away to Barnett, and the Sharks have replied. Beautiful pass from Green to Eddinghausen, wrapping around the back. And the pass to Barnett was on the money. They seem to be just a little bit slow to slide across. Three of them on the inside. Eddinghausen managed to get on the outside. Barnett almost overrunning the pass, but decided, well, I want my eighth try for the season. I'll cash it in. It's a tough kick from Rogers. He's had some pearlers this year. His success rate sitting at 76. This looks good. Hooking <laughs> back. He's judged it to perfection. And it's just gone up a fraction more. And we are locked up at Shark Park. Lost the ball. Ball lost comes ball. free there through Andrew Pierce. You heard Manda say he lost it in the tackle and wasn't raked out. And now Bell almost got through the gap and he comes up with a mistake himself. Topper is there for the Rams. Wrigley now. A chance here on the left. Mamando slicing through. Got it back to Wayne Simons. Deep into Granada territory. Good tackle by Peachy. Equally good ball back to Chris Quinn. Long floating pass for Joe Tamani. The cover is there. Tamani beats Rogers all the way from the right ring, right wing rather, and Rogers came up with a try saver. The Rams now on the attack through Pierce. Desperation stuff for Cronulla. What a sweeping movement it was for the Red and Blues. Blair trying to step back inside. Well, they've settled. There's an enormous gap out this side of the field. They've got to get two wide passes in. Oh, three. All the way. Don't go early. Walters is a dummy half. He decides now to come back inside. Hands it off to Pierce, who almost got there. Wrigley will try and dive through. I think he's got a try here. Manda will give it. Well, he's going to turn around that bloke and say, Wally, what do you want to score the tries out wide for? We'll take him under the post, thanks, and cash in with an easy two points. The Rams. Fantastic attack from them. Williamson from right in front should make it a six-point lead for the visitors. He has no problems. Not much happening there for Adelaide. Stone it was, in fact, who took the tackle. Now it's Wrigley. Again with a the kick. They elect to run it. Blair will be wrapped up. He can't unload. 
And that'll be a changeover on the last. Yeah, that's a, good ten, good ten. That's a very poor decision to make then. I believe it was probably a little bit of confusion who the ball was supposed to go to for the high kick. Wingers in both corners were ready for the high cross being put up for them. Unfortunately, it just didn't get the play. Rogers, 12 on his side of halfway. Green was a dummy half. Across to Greenhill. Greenhill. Oh, God. Hang on to this. Topper was with a forearm, and now we've gone to the markers of Queenbury rules. Forget the football for a moment. Greenhill resented what happened after the tackle, and now Cameron Blair ends up on the flat of his back, and he caught plenty for his two bobs worth. Take it easy, take it easy. Just move away. Okay, you were the initial breach. Penalty to Adelaide. Okay? Okay. Okay, mate. He was laying over the top of Greenhill trying to slow the play of the ball down, and that's what Greenhill resented. He wanted to get to his feet and play it quickly. Here's Williamson now trying to extend the lead. The kick looks good. He has threaded it that's a through the uprights. 14 points to six. The Rams lead the Cronulla Sharks. So you have a look at that. That was probably three or four metres, or maybe five metres in front of the halfway line. Then you, if you swing that back around towards the, uh, the the centre of the halfway line, it'll go damn close to a 50-metre kick. There it was, probably 43 metres and giving away around about 12 or 13 metres to the side of the post. What a chance it is now for the Rams, just eight metres out from the Cronulla line. Williamson at dummy half. Gets within five. Walters hands it off to Andrew Hick. No way through the middle for Hick. Another play where Walters turns it back. Corvo almost got there a la Kurt Wrigley. Here's Topper. He will score. Well, the Rams are carving them up at Shark Park. It was a simple pass off the back of the ruck and Topper was straight into open space and diving over for the Rams' third four-pointer here in the first half. Yeah, three points with that try there. Urgent in his actions, trying to get up to the line and stop Topper. Williamson converts. And look at the smile on Rod Reddy's face. You won't see that too often from a coach at this level. Rod Reddy absolutely delighted with the way his side is playing here in the first half. Comes away to Andrew Pearce. Steps back inside to the meat of the Cronulla defence. Wait here, wait here, roll off. Stand up. Can they extend this 14-point lead before half-time? Wrigley, they spread it left to Quinn. Beats one, Eddinghausen can't get him also, and it took Rogers to wrap him up. Well, Rogers has made several important tackles for the Sharks here this evening. Maybon up in the line, gets to the Corvo. Rogers there again stops his progress. Offloads it to Stone. He might go all the way, he will! He beat everybody! Scooted around the outside of him! And has the Adelaide up. Rams, four tries in the opening 40 minutes and has come up one of the best dummies in the business and the most rarely used dummies in the game 24 points to six at the moment with the possibility of being stretched even further we'll tell you what if we get a, a shot of rod, rod, rod really smile i bet it's even bigger he'll be doing handstands in the coach's box at the minute he'll be doing them even more now because luke williamson has kicked another conversion a perfect five from five for the youngster in the centres. And look at that score line. And look at Andrew Eddinghausen. Here's Long. Oh, big tackle by Corvo. Crunched him to the ground. Trista. To the right they go. Green to Nakao again. Running off the halfback. And there's a huge brawl broken out back on this side of the field. It's calmed down somewhat now, but there's about 10 players involved. Everybody was trading blows once again, and Andrew Hick, that mouth has been split open. Rogers moves into it and kicks it. So the difference now is those three converted tries, and that will be half-time here at Shark Park. What a first 40 minutes of football it was from the Adelaide Rams in a half of football, Wally, that had just about everything. As Adelaide defence has picked up where it left off in the first half. They were great in that first 40 minutes. In. Tough to break the line here for the Sharks again already. Nakao now. He works at 10 metres on the Adelaide side of halfway. Eddinghausen 
Comes across through Green. On to Peachy, chiming in. Got a ball away to Bell. He's in the open space. He looked for Healy. Now he passes to him, and the Sharks have hit back. Just three minutes into the second 40 minutes, and Healy dives over. Here's Rogers now, moving into it. He kicks it. The margin was 18. Now it's back to 12. Pat, a back patch to... Uh the Adelaide defenders for, for not giving up. We've got to also turn around and say, well, Cronulla, they've turned around all the handling problems that they've had in the first half. They've controlled possession for about the last five sets of six. They've been able to hang on to it as long. Gets inside the red zone. Trista to Healy. Across to Green to Nakao. Bursting onto the ball. Got it back to Green. Numbers. Six points to 18 with just under 17 and a half left before full time. Put them back within a converted try. He hooks it badly though. So the Rams keep this eight point lead. Come on, come on. Pierce will play it. 10 out from the Sharks line. Stone three. trying to Go find three. a way through. One from the post, mate. Dumped onto his back. Walters to Topper. It comes through left. Nothing much happening this side of the field for them. No, there weren't too many people putting their hand up on that occasion. They've got to go past the, the advantage line, put their hand up. It's the last tackle now. They've got to get the ball in and maintain possession. And a penalty coming on the last. Oh, and it's Craig Greenhill involved with it as well. Pressure on as, as this one's got at the moment. Oh, look at that. Letter perfect once again. Williamson, six from six this evening here at Shark Park. The four to one outsiders are going to get up here at Shark Park. Blair off the back of the scrum. Right, get out, get out, get out. Let's go. Let's go, Nathan. Rod Rennie already on the sideline. At two, roll away. Field goal to Here's finish. Here's Wrigley. He kicks it. It is good. A one-pointer to finish it right on the siren. Now that is salt into a wound, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it what? The final scoreline, Adelaide 28, Cronulla 18, and congratulations, Rod Reddy. What a moment it must be for the rookie coach here in the 97 Telstra Cup.